Good morning to everyone. Um, this is Rashid Huwarid from Tangier Med, the director of the port, and we are happy to participate in the Maritime Weekly Africa. And we would like to thank uh, Petropost and Bankerspot for uh, preparing and organizing this, uh, this event. Today we would like to talk to you about Tangier Med, its potential, the kind of traffic we do, as well as the uh, banker activity we're having uh, in the port. As you might be seeing in the, in the slides, um, the Tangier port is a complex that holds three ports. Uh, the first one, called Tangier Med 1, is dedicated to container, bulk, hydrocarbon, fueling, and exporting new cars made in Morocco. The second port is the passenger port, which is linked to uh, South Spain mainly, but also Italy and uh, France through many ferries and Roro ships. And the last port, which we opened last year in 2019, is the Tangier Med 2, which is also totally dedicated to the container activity and has uh, a lot of potential and capacity. The whole port infrastructure can um, be uh, summarized with big figures. Uh, we have a capacity of 9 million containers through the four terminals, container terminals we have. We also have a capacity of 7 million passengers that can cross the Strait of Gibraltar. We also have a capacity of 1 million vehicles, new vehicles. The majority of them are exported from Morocco, made in Morocco, but some other vehicles are also uh, coming either for import or transshipment. We also have a capacity of 700,000 trucks. These are mainly import export from Morocco to Europe. And finally, a capacity of 15 million tons of hydrocarbon through the concession we have with the, the group HTTSA uh, through, uh, that we will be talking about uh, today. Some of the images you'll see and the ranking you can see also uh, managed to make Tangier Med uh, within a, a high standard port uh, in the regional uh, uh, area of Morocco but also worldwide for some activities. Today the port is not only the first port in terms of value of import exports coming in and out to Morocco. So this port is contributing a lot to, to the Moroccan economy. It is also today, and since only a few weeks as we finished 2020 figures, the first port of the Mediterranean Sea in terms of container activity. Thanks to the last figures we have, and we reached over 5.7 million containers to use handled in the port. It is also the first port of Africa for the fourth year and worldwide, out of the 500 ports, handling containers, we already ranked number 35. The next slide is regarding the connectivity of the port. As you might uh, know, a lot of ship owners do trust Tangier Med. A lot of ship owners do work in Tangier Med. Um, we hold over about 20 different ship owners, mainly on the container, on the ferry, and on the car carrier uh, uh, activity. And these uh, ship owners have created with Tangier Med an excellent connectivity with the rest of the world. And as you can see, we have a weekly departure and arrival to 180 ports worldwide, spread over 70 countries. The majority of the container activity is made by a top four uh, ship owners. The first one is being Maersk working in the two APMT terminals and then we also have Hapagloid uh, working today in the what we call the TC3, the, the third container terminal, CMS AGM uh, also working with uh, Eurogate as an operator um, but others as you can see on the slide on some logos you can see like Arcas and many alliances that do trust the, the, the port of Tangier Med. Maybe what you can Keep in mind, for the container activity, we do about 3,000 calls per year. And these ship calls coming and going to the rest of the world are spread mainly by three categories. The very big, large ships, all the ships over 350 meters long and 400 meters long. It's the middle ships, what we call the 10,000 TEUs middle ships, and some other small ships leaving Tangier Med towards West Africa. 
As for the Tangier Med bankering activity, what we have is uh, three bursts that are useful not only for the tankers to discharge the products, but also the same bursts are also used for the barges, barges to be able to take the product and be able to, do, to give bankering either inside the port or either in our anchorage areas, we have two, but also in the Strait of Gibraltar in general. The, um, here you have a picture of one of the barges. Uh, out of the seven barges we have through the, our subcontractor HTTSA and the Minerva Bankering Company, which uh, we would like to thank for their effort and uh, uh, congratulate them for the, the good job they have done in 2020, as we have seen our banker activity almost double in one year. This banker activity for us is an important uh, uh, activity for the ships that come to the port, but also for the anchorage areas we have and other ships that need bankers in the Strait of Gibraltar. The Strait of Gibraltar is a very important area around the world where many ships cross every year and some of them do need this uh, banker activity like we can give or like other ports in the Strait of Gibraltar do give uh, also in an excellent uh, uh, manner and high standard quality. This is a picture of the um, tank farm we have within the port. Uh, it's spread over 12 hectares. Uh, it has a capacity of 500,000 tons at any one time. And the handling we can do there uh, can reach a capacity of 15 million tons in and out, uh, out of which we believe that uh, the banker activity can hold a capacity of 6 million tons. It is today more or less the ratios we have. Uh, we do have, uh, we do have, we have reached last year eight million tons in and out, out of which a big part was transshipment and import to Morocco needs, but also a very high figure for bankering that have been serving all the ships that needed that and asked uh, uh, Tangier Med and uh, Minerva HTTSA to do for them. This is a picture of uh, uh, the two areas we have for anchoring. Uh, the one, first one is called Alcazar. It's uh, absolutely nearby the port, uh, just, just one mile or two miles from the, from the port. And the other one, Fnidak, is uh, about uh, 15 or 20 miles from the port, which is also an excellent area for, for bankering. And it did have a, a certain success in the past years, and we believe it can have much more success in the, in the future. You can see them here in this map. The Tangier Med being in the, in the middle spot and on the left is the 11 points of anchoring at Alcazar and the 6 points of anchoring for Fnidak. Uh, and you can see how well situated they are in the Strait of Gibraltar and uh, the potential they can have to serve clients who, who need to do bankering uh, in this area of the world. This is also another picture of uh, uh, of the of the sh of the, the facilities we have for that, and maybe a few figures we'd like to give you is that the, the total anchorage points are 17. They are uh, today adequate for this kind of activity. Uh, we do uh, have a lot of uh, ships that are asking for this kind of uh, bankering, uh, and their capacities can go up to 240 meters long for the car carrier. We do receive smaller ships, of course, but also for the container ships. We do receive all the 400 meters long ships as we have managed to do to have a, an, uh, an excellent draft in the port up to minus 18 and berthing ships up to minus 17.4 for the container activity. This is the uh, points I, I wanted to share with you. I hope you will have a, a, a good speech with the rest of the, the teams and uh, we, we are ready to, to help uh, in the future or answer your questions if you do have some.